Our next match on today's program is an Australian tag team match. In the ring, from parts unknown, the Bounty Hunter. His partner, from Warner Robins, Georgia, Ron Simmons. Better be losing some sleep because these guys are breathing down their neck for the title. Well, you're 100% right about that, and I tell you, they're just two great athletes, all Americans, as, as we heard when they were introduced, and they're certainly that. And this man right here, I'm, I continue to be amazed by him because we've watched Steiner now for some months. We've seen him change, we've seen the change come about, and I tell you, I think it's just great that that young love is blossoming. I think it should happen to everybody, and I, I'm delighted to see it happen to this young man. He's such a great individual. Well, look at Rick Steiner. He went in behind. Somebody didn't give him his dog bone, and he thought he'd find catches and can. And brother, he caught him. Look at Rick. Don't you think every time they're in the ring that the free birds kind of shake a little bit? I tell you, that World Tag Team title with a team like this against the free birds. Boy, I tell you, that title would be hanging in the balance. It could go either way. And when, the, when the Freebirds face these two, man, boy, that would be all out war. First lady of professional wrestling, Missy Hyatt, over there. Very proud of the title, And let me tell you, the Freebirds are looking. Oh, and running across the ring, Ron Seven hits his own partner, the bounty hunter. Big drop kick from Scott. While Rick is over doing a little politicking with referee Nick Patrick, Ron Simmons, red hot as he hit his own partner, got on the floor with the bounty hunter, and the Steiners looking good. Uh, not only looking good, but I tell you, they can really fool you. When you look at them and you look at their size and you know they got that great athletic ability, but don't discount their strength. These two guys are strong as mules. Very, very powerful. And the thought went through my mind, if I was a free bird, you've got not only the great amateur background, and both of these guys champion, champions, amateur champions, the tremendous physical conditioning that they have. Oh, look at that Scott Steiner. He went up, cut the head scissors, snapped him straight over and down, has enough composure, Bob, to follow it up, runs right in behind with that reverse pin lock, There's the Sheik down, the Iron Sheik down there talking to Ron Simmons. What's he doing down there ringside? Totally verifies the rumors that, that I had heard that Ron Simmons has been hanging out with this guy, training. Yeah. And look at his Sheik. He's down there spouting off. He said, this is no kind of partner. He's the only thing I caught out of him. Yeah, but he's... Scott a... Steiner, meantime, slammed upside down the bounty hunter into the turnbuckle. And look at Simmons in the seat. Simmons has left his partner, the bounty hunter, in there at the mercy of both of the Steiners. He just sort of walked away. They're still chewing the fat. And the bounty hunter, who could use the bag, after Rick Steiner on the leash, he's boots with a clothesline. Belly to belly and took him straight over with it. Tag on Scott. Boy, they are moving in and out of there. Yes, Freebird, it is real life. And there are a brother team called the Steiners. Hey, Looking right at them. It looks like Another they're leaving. The belly, huh? It looks like they're leaving. Simmons and the Sheep. No. He is. You're right, Bob. Walking down the aisle. Left is the winner of the match. The All-Americans, the Steiner Brothers. 
Well, I tell you one thing, well, the, the action that Ron Simmons just did in there, that's got to disappoint a lot of his fans and a lot of his followers. He just wouldn't have believed it of a young man like Simmons that he would even associate with a guy like the Sheik. Doesn't surprise me about the Sheik, but to get under the power and influence of somebody like that, look at Scott, belly to belly, straight over, 